Hi, thank you guys so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. My name is Nikki and I make tarot content. Today's video is on the aces. So in a tarot reading, if you're ever stumped when an ace comes out upright or reverse, then continue watching because we're going to look at all four aces. We're going to compare them. If you have a tarot deck, I advise that you get it so you can follow along. And if you don't, just take notes so when you do get a tarot deck, you can refer back to your notes. Like comment subscribe share and let's get started let's begin with the aces in the upright position so the aces represent potential it's not here yet it's not tangible but you have the potential to receive all the good in that particular suit. The aces are floating in the air so you know that it's not here yet it's not tangible that's where the pages come in. For me, the pages represent the aces in a usable, tangible, physical form. And looking at all these aces, all of them have yods on them. All of them except for the ace of pentacles. Now with that being said, the yods to me represent spiritual help, getting help from the divine. The Ace of Pentacles doesn't have that. This tells me that you have to do something first. You have to put in your work first and then the universe will provide. God will provide. Your angels, your ancestors, whoever will provide. Okay, but you have to put in the work first. I get that same vibe from the Light Seers deck. In the Ace of Wands, it looks like a really good idea, a spark of inspiration. It looks like something just given to you, a spark just lit, right? The Ace of Cup, same thing. It looks like your hand is out and your cup is being filled. The Ace of Swords, you're beaming energy, you're beaming thoughts, you're beaming ideas, but your face is calm and serene. It doesn't look like you're putting in a lot of work. But this Ace of Pentacles, it looks like your hands are dirty. Also with the roots growing off of this particular pentacle, it lets me know that this may have to sit and simmer for a while. This may take a while to grow. So let's now compare the two masculine suit and we're also going to start with the right away deck just to keep it simple. So a masculine energy is a giving energy. It's a pushing energy. It's a driving energy. And if you look at the position on the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, they're like giving you something. They're pushing you. So these are my push cards. But if you look at the hand position, the Ace of Wands is palm side up. And the Ace of Swords is palm down. So if an Ace of Wands comes up in a reading, this has something to do with feeling. This is something internal. The palm is up. So this is something that you're going to feel. It's going to feel right. You're going to be motivated. You're going to have drive. It's something is going to be renewed. The spark, if this is a relationship reading, the spark is there, okay? thumbs up. <laughs> if we look back at the hands again, this one is palm face down. This is not something internal. Why? Because the suit of swords is all about communication. A ace of swords is something that needs to be shared. It's something that needs to be written or read, said, heard, sung. So with the ace of wands here in the light seers deck, she has a fire burning in her brain. How dope is that? She has a really good idea, a good feeling. She is motivated. She is going back to the gym. She is pumped. The Ace of Swords, she has a plethora of information, spirals and spirals and spirals of information. But guess what? She's sharing it. You see that light? coming out of her head. She is sharing her information. She is writing that book. She is writing that blog. She is starting that YouTube channel. You know, that is the Ace of Swords, something to be shared. Let's now look at the feminine cards, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Notice that these hands are relaxed. They're not in a pushing giving, driving position like the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. These are up, 
and relaxed, honey. We are receiving here. These are the receiving energies. These feel good. <laughs> These feel amazing. So with the Ace of Cups, we see that there is yods falling from the Ace, falling from the cup. This feels peaceful. This feels like a day at the beach. Whereas the Pentacles, there is no yards. We know that this is still a, a gift from God because if you look closely and all the aces have this, there's like little light beams coming off of that hand. You see, it's there, it's there, it's in all the aces. So with that, we know that this is still a special gift, but you are going to have to put in the work. And then once you get the ball rolling, things will be easy and you can then receive. So this is, to me, setting up or starting a passive income business. You know what I mean? Something that's going to give you royalties. You have to put in the work first, but then it's passive and you can just receive. Palms up, honey, palms up. So that to me is the difference between the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. You're receiving in either case, but one, you have to start with a little legwork and one, you don't. That dove is coming right to you, dropping that love bomb right in your cup. Mm, I love it. Again, with the Light Seers deck, I see that exact same imagery. And you see this little swish coming towards her. I look at that the way that I look at the dove in the Rider right Waite deck. And it's, the, it's showing the potential coming to you. It's showing the hug coming towards you. It's showing that there is potential for love to come towards you. But are you going to catch it? <laughs> Are you going to catch it or are you going to fumble it? You know, same thing here with the Ace of Pentacles. Look at the size of that pentacle in proportion to the hand. So you put in a little bit of work and the rest will be taken care of. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Both of these cards have to do with feelings. Both of these cards have the potential to bring really, really good feelings towards you. The difference, though, is that the Ace of Cups is more passive, whereas the Ace of Wands is active. So you know that the Ace of Cups, you're going to receive something that's going to make you feel good and you really don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Like the dove is just going to come towards you. That guy is just going to give you his number. That girl is just going to wink her eye at you. You really don't have to do much. This feel good is going to make you do something. You're going to go to the gym. You're going to be the one asking the person out. Okay, the Ace of Cups, you're going to just receive the phone number. You don't do much. The Ace of Wands, you're going to be motivated to give the phone number. The Ace of Wands is a giver. So we have a feel good at rest and we have a feel good with action. Also, look at how these hands are both facing the left. To me, that signifies that we're on the same team. You know, even though you're water and even though I'm fire, you know, and technically we can't get together, we're on the same team. We're still fighting for the same team. We both want to feel good. It's just that we go about it differently. The Light Seers deck, the way that I would remember that is if my head was on fire, I'd be motivated to go do something about it. I'd be motivated to get up and run, get some water, take action. So that's how I would remember it if I was using the Light Seers deck. Whereas if I had the Ace of Cups, ooh, picture that as like a bowl of your favorite anything. You're just going to want to sit there and receive more and more and more, right? With the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, we can see that their hands are both going to the right. So they're both playing for the same team, just like the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. They're both feel good cards and they're both going to the left. These are two harsh cards. Oh my goodness, the Ace of Pentacles, the journey through the Ace of Pentacles, especially when you make a pit stop at the Five of Pentacles, 
this could be a very harsh suit. Same thing with the Ace of Swords. As you make your journey and you get to the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords. So with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, yes, it's a very harsh journey. But if you can navigate through it well, then you're going to have a really nice payoff. All right, now let's look at the Aces in the reverse position. If you're still here in the video at this point, please like comment, subscribe, share, all the YouTube things that help me grow. Okay, so in the reverse, to me, this energy feels blocked. It feels like the potential came and then went. You did not understand it. You did not see it or recognize it when it was there. And then it fizzled or it's in the process of fizzling. I'm looking at the Ace of Wands as a thumbs down, a universal thumbs down. If you're asking a yes, no question and you get the Ace of Wands in reverse, you know it's absolutely no. But the hands now look like they're pulling something away or it looks like they're trying to come to you under a lot of resistance. So you could think of the action is under some sort of resistance. So now at this point, it's up to you to realize what is causing the resistance? What is causing the blockage of the passion? What's causing the blockage of me using these good ideas, putting my good ideas to work? What is really blocking? So if you look at the Light Sears tarot deck, it looks like an idea that's being fizzled out. So you did not go to the gym on Monday. Here it is Wednesday. You still did not go to the gym. So you say, you know what? I'll start again on Monday. Monday. And again, Monday never comes. So that is the Ace of Wands in reverse. You had all the motivation, you had the drive, you had really good potential, but you squandered it. With the Ace of Swords, this card here in the Light Sears, you look like you had so much information. If this was a library, you had infinite knowledge. There's even an infinity sign. So you had infinite knowledge on the topic at hand, which means that you have the potential to succeed in whatever the situation is, but you did not use your brain. You did not think about things. You had clouded judgment, so you're making poor decisions. This looks like the brain being turned off. That light that's beaming out, nope, shut off. This could also be about keeping secrets. The Ace of Swords is about sharing the ideas, okay? This is about really good communication. And again, communication is between two or more people. But in reverse, you are keeping secrets. Someone is keeping secrets. That light switch of truth is turned off in this card. And the information that you are receiving may not be the full truth. With the feminine energies in reverse, this means that you're not in a position to receive. You're not open to love, for example. With the Ace of Cups, you don't want your heart filled right now. You could have just came out of a really bad relationship and your heart is closed off or blocked and you're not receiving anything at this time or you're not ready to start anything. You you could be injured with the Ace of Pentacles. You could be injured. You don't have the money or the resources, something of the sort. So therefore you can't get started and, and thus you can't get whatever the universe has in store for you. Something is blocking that. Look at that. The the hands are not up and open and happy and receiving. They're face down. They're closed. They're blocked. They're saying, nope, not today. I don't want that hug. Don't touch me. And I'm just not in the mood to put in work. I'm just not ready to start that plan. Uh, therefore, the universe can't bring to me what it needs to bring to me. So these are great starter cards to open up a tarot spread and really dive into what is blocking you. What is what is blocking that feminine energy? Why are we closed off, right? Maybe we're living too much in our masculine and we want to take action, 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 and we're not relaxing and receiving. You know, maybe we've overworked. 
with the Ace of Pentacles, maybe it's not that we don't want to work. Maybe we're overworking. And now the universe is saying, okay, now is your time to relax. Now is time for this project to be passive. And you're not allowing, you're not allowing your blessing to come through. So you are essentially blocking your own blessing here with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe with the Ace of Cups, you're not hurt at all. Maybe you're giving too much. You know, maybe your feminine energy is turned up to the max and you're giving too much of yourself and the universe wants to fill your cup. Maybe you're giving from an empty cup. The universe wants you to relax and receive and you're just not doing that because you want to be everything for everyone. So like I said, if you get any of these feminine cards in reverse, that should cue you to pull some more cards and find out why that way you could fix it. OK, that way you could use these aces, these potentials to really get the best out of what is in store for you. So now that we've learned and compared the aces, I'm going to give you guys some homework. Pull out your tarot deck, get the aces. Even if you don't have the light sears or the right weight deck, it doesn't matter. Pull out your tarot deck. Pull out a journal and I want you to take notes on what you see, feel, hear, smell, taste differently now when you look at the aces. Even if it's not something that I mentioned in the video, but you're picking up on it now, take note of that. That is your intuition. If you have my book, then your homework assignment is to go through each suit and fill out the pages for the aces, both upright and reverse. If you're learning tarot, you absolutely need this book. I've provided my go-to ideas, themes, and stories for each card, but what makes this book so special is that I've also provided at least one song for each card. Music just helps me remember everything. I've also provided a place for you to journal your own ideas, your stories, and your songs. So if you can turn your tarot deck into a music playlist, you'll have no problem remembering each tarot card meaning. Okay, so so with the aces, you could use the ideas that I've given you in this video. You could piggyback them with the ideas that I've given you in my book, but I also motivate you to come up with your own. And if you feel like sharing, comment down below and let me know your tips on remembering these aces.